Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel and with another reaction video Today I'm gonna react to Allah will guide your heart out of any problem Let's go and watch this um, But before we watch, before we start, just don't forget to subscribe and leave a like And also comment if you would love to So Bismillah, let's start I love you ما أصاب من مصيبة إلا بإذن الله ومن يؤمن بالله يهدي قلبه. No calamity strikes of any nature that anything that ever strikes you in life hits you in life. Never would that ever happen except by Allah's permission. إلا بإذن الله. ومن يؤمن بال. So now. First thing first, we recognize that every difficulty, and isaba in Arabic can be used for difficulty, but the Quran redefines it. So uh, it uses in Surah Tawbah the word musiba for good or bad. In other words, everything that strikes you isn't bad. Some things, good things come your way. But anything that's come your way, anything that's hit you in life, any incident you've gone through, any pain that's come your way, any pleasure that's come your way, all of it has actually come from Allah Himself. It's Allah's permission for that arrow to be released to hit you. That, and without that permission, it would not have happened. So it's part of Allah's plan. Ma asaba min musibatin illa bi idnillah. That had to happen. That was part of the plan. Now, wa man yu'min billahi, and whoever can have faith in Allah, whoever were to believe in Allah, yahdi qalbahu, Allah will guide his heart. Now, there's a lot that can be said about this ayah on its own, but I'll highlight one thing of the many things we can learn from this ayah. And that is sometimes you're hit with a situation and you don't know what to do. You're in a, you're in a bind. Do I, do I stay or do I leave? Do I say something or do I not say something? Do I come or do I go? What do I do? What action do I take? And you're caught. And Allah says something remarkable. When you're stuck in a calamity and you hold on to your iman in Allah, you decide to remember Allah at that time. You decide to have intimate conversation with Allah and Allah alone at that time. You restore your faith. So it's not, yu'min billah is not just whoever it happens to be a believer, but you don't think of belief as something you already have and now it's in your pocket and you walk around with it. Iman is something that you have to restore, you have to polish, you have to revisit, you have to bring it to life again. Yeah. And so in the ayah, it's as if when you're stuck and I'm stuck in a calamity or we're, we're hit with something new or something difficult and it's overbearing on us, then we have to, we keep thinking about fixing that problem, right? And Allah says, when you're stuck in a calamity like that, think about fixing your iman. Think about restoring your connection to iman. Which seems unrelated, because you know, here you have a situation, so you're confused about what to do, I don't know how to handle this. It and Allah is so saying, true. how about you restore your faith? How about yeah. you turn towards me? Why? Well, but how is that? Because for me also what I think is, if your faith, like if your iman, not, it's not strong, Allah puts you some struggles in your life that you turn back to Him and and uh, try to put your Iman more stronger. This is what I think. How is that going to help me with this? Allah answers in the ayah, Yahdi qalbahu, Allah will guide His heart. Whoever restores their faith or has faith, Allah will guide their heart. And what does that mean? Yeah. That means that Allah, Allah didn't say, whoever has Iman in Allah, their difficulty will be over. He didn't say that. He didn't say whoever has difficulty with Allah, the trial, the musibah will go away. The, the, the calamity will go away. Or whatever hits you will go away. No, Allah said, good or bad, whatever's hit you, if you can remember Allah, and you can restore your faith in Allah, then Allah will guide your heart, which also means Allah will guide your heart on how to handle this. Yeah. What to do, what not to do, what actions yeah. to take, what actions not to take. Which is the most powerful thing a human being can have. Sometimes we don't know how to make the right choice. Yeah. We don't know which way to go. And we turn to others for counsel. And we say, what do you think I should do? Right? And that's an important part of living. We take counsel from parents or loved ones, spouses, sometimes even children. We take counsel from those we trust. And we say, what, what would you do in this situation? What would you have me do? What do you help me think through this? Because I'm too clouded by my emotions or too caught up in the problem to be able to think for myself. So I need an outside help. And this is actually amruhum shura baynahum. It's something recommended in the Quran. Allah says their decision making is after cons consulting with each other. And that's a very multi-layered statement also in the Quran. But here Allah says, 
But you can you can get people's help. You can talk to a thousand people about whatever issue and get whatever advice. And every time you talk to somebody, you get a different kind of advice. And woman, because they don't know your situation in the the situation that you are. Last time in the other video that I did, I said that uh, to 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 understand the situation that you are, you have to go through that. So nobody will understand your situation because they didn't want through it. For example, our Prophet وسلم, he went through uh, like to be an orphan when he was uh, little. So he understand really good that situation of orphans, right? Because it's really important for us to help the orphans. And for him, he understood that, that situation. That's why, uh, that's why he, he, it was the best example. So, but when you go to ask everyone for his opinion and what to do and everything, they don't know. They don't know because they never went through your point of life that you are now. So, and just Allah, just Allah knows, right? Because He knows what is in your heart, in your mind, and what do you and what you want to do and what not, and what do you feel and everything, right? So. Just only him can can help you out. Terribly, you're like, yeah, I think I should do that. But then, 20 minutes later, your heart's like, no, we're not gonna do that. And then you go seek somebody else's counsel, and they give you some advice. So you say, yeah, I think you're right. But then you leave there, and you're like, ah, I can't do it, because your heart's not settled on it. What does Allah say? If you restore your faith in Allah, Allah will guide that person's heart. Your heart will be content with a choice, and that choice will be inspired by Allah. Allah will intervene in your situation. So what, a, what an amazing thing to say, huh? So, وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ يَهْدِي قَلْبَهُ وَاللَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عَلِيمٌ And Allah is fully knowledgeable of all things. You see, when you tell your problem to somebody else... Just, I don't know what about you all, but for me, it brings a lot of peace inside of me to know that there is my Creator who will help me in everything. Alright? Before, when I was a Christian, I didn't have that feeling. I was just like thinking I am alone, I have to go through stuff alone, I have to take my decision, of course I have my family, but I have to do it alone by myself. But when you don't have this, this that Allah helps you and everything, you feel really like real really alone and I think also so many depressions and anxieties and everything what is mental health it it it, it um, happen when this happen when you are like not believing that there is someone more powerful than anything what you can imagine and that that being can help you this really such a problem because it makes you really bad really bad and alhamdulillah islam it really makes you comfortable in your heart with your with your mind everything then they understand things from your point of view but your story whatever problem you're going through has other actors other characters and they've got their point of view but when i share my story i can only share my point of view which make, can make me look better and make them look worse. Or I can only consider so many factors. I can't consider the con- because one action has multiple consequences, right? One action I take can affect myself, it can affect one family member, another family member, it can affect my neighborhood, it can affect the business, it can affect so many, affect so many things. Yeah. Who is the only one who knows this one choice that I make, what effects will it have, and how will I be safe from the harm that may come from any of its effects? That can only be Allah. When Allah says He knows everything. You see, when we're caught up, we can't think about the consequences. We just want to get out of a problem and make a choice. And sometimes we make impulsive choices without Allah's guidance. Allah says, whoever has faith in Allah, Allah will guide his heart. What this also means is, then when you have faith in Allah, you'll open up Allah's book. You'll turn to Allah's Messenger وسلم, And you'll find the answer for what you were looking for in the most unexpected place. Because you came with a heart seeking to believe in Allah and seeking for a solution from Allah and Allah's book will just open itself up to you. You'll come to it and Allah will tell you exactly what you needed to hear. SubhanAllah, this is all true.
and this really comforts my heart it makes me really in peace when I hear these things right because it's it's true you just have to ask Allah and if for sure he will help you inshallah so just thank you for watching and leave a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe see you next time Ma salama